Welcome back, I'm Professor Steele, and today we're going to look at a thinking problem involving the unit circle. The problem that has been given to us is the original Ferris wheel designed by George Ferris having a radius of 125 feet. If the person boards the Ferris wheel from the bottom, which is ground level, ignoring seat height, how high above the ground is the person after traveling two thirds of the way around the wheel? First thing we always do in a problem is draw a diagram. So we have our Ferris wheel, we have the person boarding from the bottom, and we know that the radius of the Ferris wheel is 125 feet. We know the person is going two thirds of the way around, and it really doesn't matter which way, but we're gonna go counterclockwise. So if we go two thirds of the way around, well, if we break our circle up into thirds, two thirds of the way around would put us in this position. So the question is, how far above the ground is the person? We're gonna label that as our height. Well, we already have this portion of our height, so we're just missing this small piece. And if we think about it, we have a horizontal line here. How many degrees is that going around two thirds of the way? Two thirds around the circle, it's equivalent to two thirds of 360 degrees, which is 240 degrees. So right now we have a 240 degree angle going to the position of the person. That tells us that if it's 270 all the way around to the nine o'clock position, then this missing piece is 30 degrees. We want the height. And in the previous video, we discussed that the horizontal measurement is given by cosine of the angle. The vertical measurement is given by sine of the angle. So this missing distance here can be determined sine of 30 degrees. Recall that the value that we are determining is based on a unit circle, meaning a radius of one. However, our particular situation has a radius of 125. So our value is actually 125 times larger. So even though we haven't fully investigated the sine and cosine function yet, that's coming up, we can rely on our calculator for now. We can determine sine of 30 degrees, remembering that this was for a unit circle, which has now been stretched out 125 times. And this gives us 62.5 feet. However, that was just the distance from our nine o'clock position. So our height is actually the 125 feet in addition to the 62 feet, which gives us 187.5 feet. So the person sitting right here is 187.5 feet above the ground. I hope this has helped. Please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.